Now we're going to take a look at something that database administrators tend to spend a fair amount of time doing. We're going to analyze query execution. First thing I'm going to do is show you some queries that are specifically written to perform very badly. Um, it's not so much the code as the environment in which the queries run. So we'll take a look at that. We will look at the tables that are involved and the statistics on those tables. Uh, we'll then execute the queries and get the execution plan and see what the query optimizer thought was the best way to execute the queries. Having done that, we're going to then go back and look at a few things in SQL Server uh, to, uh, to see what's going on. So we'll look at the execution plan, and uh, we will be specifically looking for table scans. We will check our indexing structure. And finally, we will fire up the database tuning advisor and pass it a trace file and see what its recommendations are and see if the, the advisor's recommendations might help these queries run more quickly. Now this is, uh, this is a fairly intricate, but it is a really important skill and this is something that a lot of database administrators spend a fair amount of time working on. Now let's take a look at how we can use some SQL Server queries to find out what's going on and take a look at uh, issues with long-running queries. First thing I'm going to do is launch the Management Studio. And connect to the default instance. We're going to be doing this entirely with queries, so I'm going to close the Object Explorer and Solution Explorer windows and open a new query. The first thing I want to do is paste in some code for some queries that are going to take a long time to run. Okay. Uh, they, they don't necessarily look all that bad, right? Select product name, list price is price, from product data data, where product line is R, and days to manufacture is less than four, okay? Order by name. So, like I say, they, they don't look terribly bad. They look, in, they're not long, they, uh, they look pretty normal. I'm going to get an actual execution plan for these uh, because I know that they, uh, they do take a long time to run. I just happen to know that. I probably found that out using the profiler. So let's get the actual execution plan and then execute the queries. Now that may not have seemed like a long time to you, but in database land, uh, we, we deal with milliseconds and every millisecond is precious. So let's go over and take a look at our execution plans and see what's going on. Oh my goodness, this first one did a table scan. Okay. And the, uh, that is 42% of the cost, and then it sorted. We wanted an order by, so uh, that's pretty normal. Let's see what the second one looks like. Oh, another table scan. Look at that. My goodness, I wonder why it didn't use an index. Hmm. Now this one's a bit more complicated, this third query. So we have another table scan, and then we have a compute scalar. What is taking the, uh, the overhead with this one is this sorting. Okay, so that's what's going on with these, with these queries. Now, I have out here on the desktop uh, a query that is going to show me the statistics. Let's just open it up here right quick and show you what's going on. Um, Use AdventureWorks going to select star from SysStats where object ID is the object ID of the sales order detail or 
of the product data product tables. And it's going to show statistics on all of these various columns and see what's going on. Okay, so the PK sales order detail uh, and so forth. Right? And you can see that, uh, uh, that these are the various indexes that have been created. Uh, we're, we're curious as to why indexes weren't used. Okay, so I'm going to select all of this, copy it to the clipboard. We'll go back to SQL Server. I'll create a new query. And we will paste that in. And let's see what it happens when we execute it. All right, down here we have for our first one, PK order detail stat, the stats ID. Oh my gracious, look at this. Auto created, there are no statistics. Okay, no statistics here. And if we go down to this next one, here is our PK order details when it was updated, the rows that were sampled, and so forth. And, and uh, there are no statistics on it. Okay. So we have a bit of a problem. It's very, very difficult for the query analyzer. Uh, in fact, it's impossible for the query analyzer to determine index usage without statistics. So we have now determined that the statistics are missing and we notice user created no recompute and auto created. Uh, there, are, there are none there, so we're going, to, uh, uh, we're going to need to look at our database and see what is up with the, uh, with the statistics. And we may need to manually compute the statistics so that the query analyzer will have a better shot at um, uh, at coming up with a better way to execute these queries. Now, let's see what's up with our settings. Again, I have a query out here that's simply going to check is auto create stats on and is auto update stats on for the AdventureWorks database. I'll copy that to the clipboard. I'm going to create a new query paste that in and check. There you go. The AdventureWorks database uh, is not automatically creating or updating statistics. There's our problem.